41, and it's a long way from Hawaii to Oklahoma. The time and distance were overcome at Tinker Air Force Base today as an important part of Oklahoma history came home. News 9's Gan Matthews reports. The battleship Oklahoma was one of the first casualties in the attack on Pearl Harbor. Over 400 men died. Ed Vesey still has vivid memories. I went to battle with a pajama pants, a cap, a pair of moccasins, and a 45. That was the last time Ed Vesey saw the Oklahoma until today, when an Air Force cargo plane landed at Tinker Air Force Base. On board was one of the Oklahoma's masts. The mast had lain at the bottom of Pearl Harbor undisturbed for more than 60 years. But then in 2006, it was discovered during a dredging operation. The mast might have been destroyed by the Navy were it not for a call from the Batfish War Memorial in Muskogee to Pearl Harbor. I made the phone call over to Hawaii and uh, asked the guy if they, they had anything left over from the USS Oklahoma. And the guy just started laughing. It took a while, but last Friday, the 45-foot mast was loaded aboard the cargo plane for the flight to Oklahoma. The 22,000-pound mast will be put on display in Muskogee. We hope to build a new building at the museum around the mast and set up a World War II uh, information center for students in Oklahoma. It's become kind of like the holy grail of Oklahoma. And now it is home at last. At Tinker Air Force Base, Gan Matthews, News 9. And the mast will begin its journey from Tinker to Muskogee on Wednesday.